great background in the entertainment industry, not just in music. Well, yeah, I've been singing since I was a wee little thing, but um, I have the blessing of being the voice of Jem and Jerrica from the cartoon series Jem and the Holograms, which is now back on television, and there's a DVD box set coming out, and it's it's never lost its magic all these years later, so I'm kind of in the middle of a new Jem and the Holograms resurgence and revival, and it's, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> That would have brought my old Mac to its knees. <laughs> oh my God. Tell me a little bit about how you connected with your producer, Dave Pulich. We met in L.A. Um, a few years back. He apparently he had a band and he had done a full-on record. It was finished. They were ready to start promoting it. And something happened with the lead singer. I don't remember what the situation was. And he was going to have to find somebody to redo all the vocals on the record and be in this band. And, um, and I liked the music and I thought, this is something that I might want to do. So I, mm -hmm. I called him and I met with him and I really liked him. And um, we got along real, really well. Um, but then I ended up um, rehearsing in the whole Leonard Cohen thing. And that sure. took precedence, obviously of touring the world with Leonard Cohen and um, so I never did get to do the project with Dave and he ended up getting somebody else and, and um, running with that album with somebody else but uh, when the Leonard Cohen tour fell through Leonard decided not to tour mm -hmm. we just started writing songs and pitching them for film and TV projects so we've been working together musically for a while now okay, okay so how about the unplugged version yeah no click track no drums nothing no nothing just the just the melody Okay. I got milk and honey, got my radio, and a place to go. Well, I'm not music that was fun yeah you know I've been melancholy girl with a lot of stuff that I've written mm -hmm. which is fine which you know there's a place for that sure. but I was I was needing I was so needing to just do something that was fun and up-tempo mm -hmm. right. tell us about your single yes um, it's the most up-tempo uh, track on the record right. I got my game on I got my freak on so right I'm wrong I got it fun one to yeah. put out there first and it's just it's all attitude and uh, I, I found this groove and this vibe for it and it just needed the same type of lyrics and um, in your face you know um, you, you have quite an online presence um, I know you have uh, many fans on Facebook and they've, they've been asking questions oh. uh, concerning your album um, it just what, what were some of the highlights of this album process uh, well, gosh, I mean, I've never gotten to do a single before. This new record is so me. It's mm -hmm. so, um, because I, I wrote all the songs, so it, it's really, um, you know, and I decided if I wanted an up-tempo and like, work, you know, my melodies and my lyrics and, and, and of course Dave's amazing production. I mean, he's just taken it, what I was hearing in my head, and when I sent my demos to him, I was like, are you getting it? Can you hear it? And, mm -hmm. and he's like, yeah, I hear it. And then, of course, so you know, he it. does his magic, and you're like, oh, my God, there it is. That's, that's where I knew it could go. So it's just been, it's been a, such a rewarding experience in that regard because, um, 
you know, singing other people's material, although you may sing songs that you love and that really speak to you, it's it's a whole different experience when it's something that comes from you. Right. So, yeah, so that, I think that's been the most rewarding part of doing this record. So you have a, quite a background in the entertainment industry. Uh, you've worked with voiceovers, you've been in several bands, done session work. Singing on PlayStation games, okay. that, that was really cool. I remember I got a call from a friend of mine, a uh, composer, um, saying we're doing a I think the first one I sang on was Twisted Metal Black, and he's like, okay. can you do sort of a Middle Eastern wailing, ethereal mm. thing? And I was like, sure! <laughs> and I'd never done that before, right. you know? But I knew I could pull things out of the hat when I need to, so uh -huh. anyway, I went into the studio, and um, all I needed was a little reverb and turn the lights down, and, mm -hmm. and we got something really beautiful, and that was cool, because getting to see my vocal to the game, which was a really dark game, and also God of War sang on that too, and um, so that was um, Joe, of course, your fans yes. want to hear how, how that's influenced your music, what your experience was like when you, when you did your part with Joe. So talk about that. Well, Jem, I didn't get to do the singing for Jem, which when I initially auditioned for it, I was I just was so thrilled that she was a singer because that's what I've been doing my whole life. But um, the singing was already cast in New York, so all of those that happened to sing um, didn't get a shot at it. But you know, it, they were matching our voices, and they matched my voice so perfectly to Britta's, and it turned out really well. But um, yeah, Jem, Jem has. Jem is influencing me, I would say, more now because I just have this such a, a love and a warmth for the fans mm -hmm. that I want to make them proud, you know? I know right. that sounds kind of silly, but I they're just so lovely and genuine and I just want to make great records that they'll love. Yeah. Just wait till I get out there live with the band. You know, no. I can't wait to like, <laughs> connect with them really big loud sound and like a great drummer and like, you know, ready to do that. Yeah, we're all looking forward to that, absolutely. Um, thank you. It's been so great this talking been with you. I know, this has been really cool. Um, so, this is a, an important landmark for you having this album come out, but yeah. it's what got you there that got you there. So, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah. I think your fans are going to love to see where you come since jam and where, you know, where that's directed you yeah. and what what that's just led you to do. Yeah. Well, I think that that's just so exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It's lovely to be yeah. able to kind of share it and thank you for sure. facilitating this so that they can get a little insight into Absolutely. what we're doing. So. Yeah, my pleasure. Cool. Uh, we look forward to seeing this album released and all that you're going to do with it. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you. Sure. Show's over, Synergy. <laughs> Keep it playing, keep it playing.